Hello, this eHelp video covers ESI Webphone, which can be used on ESI's eCloud service. This video is going to talk specifically about how to set up a three-way conference and how to use the switch phone feature. So here I am logged into eConsole because this is where I launch Webphone. I go up into the corner, um, I see my name on the left nav menu. And when I click on my name, I have various options based on what's been assigned to my extension. And I do have an ESI web phone, so I am going to launch that. I use the ESI web phone in the large view um, or maximize view that you see here. But know that if up here in the top right corner, I can click minimize and use it in the minimize view. Whether minimized or maximized, you always have the same options um, and functionality available to you. So I'm gonna go back to the maximize view and I'm gonna show you how to use a couple of other call handling features. And in order to do that, I'm gonna place um, an inbound call. So I'm gonna do that now from my smartphone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and answer. Oops. Um, and then I'm gonna click mute just so we don't get any feedback. All right, so in our other videos, we've talked about uh, these items here and what's under more, which is our start recording. In fact, we can do that now if we want. So let's start with our three-way conference. So I go over here to add phone and um, it has a couple of similar options as we did with transfer. And it's saying you can add a call, but you can add them from either directly dialing the number, meaning manually entering it, or you can choose from a contact. So let's go ahead and do choose from contact. And remember that that is an exact copy of what you have listed over here. Um, so you don't have to go back and forth. Just stay here within this window. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose Pippa as our, as our example. Um, because I know I can get a call through her and I'll show you how we can join them all together. So I'm going to choose Pippa and she has a couple of phone numbers and I simply choose the one I want by picking the correct handset. So in this case, it's the second one. So notice immediately that uh, my original caller is being put on hold and Pippa's phone is ringing. So I'm going to answer that and I'm going to put us on hold as well. Okay, so again, as soon as um, Pippa's phone started ringing, it took my original caller and put that person on hold. And so now I'm talking to Pippa. At this point, if I wanted to, I could just uh, flip flop between the two calls or some of you may know this feature as flash. It's kind of an older term, but if I want to, I can swap the calls by clicking my swap calls button. And when I do, now Pippa is put on hold and I'm talking to my original caller. And then I can do this all day. I can flip flop between the two of them, all right? So uh, let's not even worry about flip, flipping back to the other scenario. I now have both of these people on the call and I want to join them all together for a three-way conference. So that's where you click merge. Okay, now I'm gonna click mute again because it took us all off of mute or at least took me off of mute anyway. Um, they are still on mute on their smartphones. Okay, so you see here that it's giving me the full list. Uh, it's Julia, Pippa, and the other phone, which I can't remember the name of, but you can see that we're all joined um, together because we have the plus sign. And I can tell you that on the smartphones that are sitting next to me, that they are all getting audio and they can hear and interact. Um, so. Um, voila, you now have a three-way conference, okay? And at this point, you can uh, keep going with this. And as soon as you hang up, the conference call will be torn down and you can move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that by ending this call, okay? And, um, but we still have another feature to show you. All right, so I placed a call, I'm gonna answer it. Put everybody on mute, okay. So you're gonna to want to use switch phone when you want to transfer or move the audio of the call that you're currently on to a different device associated with your extension. It can't be somebody else's extension or device. It has to be those associated with your extension. So when I click on switch phone, it's gonna give me a list of all the devices associated with my extension. In this particular case, I only have ePhone Go, which is the uh, ESI's mobile app. Now it's possible, and I know this um, for my other extensions, I have sometimes two or three devices listed, which could be a desktop phone like my ePhone 4X um, or my ePhone X, whatever it may be. Anyway, wherever you want to send this audio, you're gonna click on that phone 
um, and choose it. And what it's going to do is place a call to that device. So in this case, my ePhone Go um, on my cell phone would ring and I would answer it. And then the caller and I are joined again. But this time I'm using my ePhone Go instead of my web phone. So a very good scenario of this is you're at your house or maybe the office, and that's where you use your web phone. You need to go meet with a client, but you don't want to discontinue your conversation. So you want to transfer your audio to your smartphone so that then you can take that into your car and drive off to your appointment while maintaining your conversation. Although I will say you should make sure you're using hands-free communication in your car so that you drive safely. But that's a good example of how you'd switch that audio. Uh, but if you go in here to contacts, so we're on our call, we're in contacts, essentially contacts and add phone where you were doing that three-way conference, really they're the same thing. When you click on add a call, you are able to choose from your contacts. Well, if you click on add con or click on contacts, it goes straight to this view. So if I go over here to Pippa and choose her, See how it put her on hold? And now um, Pippa's phone is ringing. This is the same thing we just did with our uh, three-way conference. And so now I can um, swap between the calls again or do a merge to have a three-way conference. Okay, so that is how, oh, let me mute. That is how you use ad call, um, how you use contacts to do the same thing as ad call and have a three-way conference and then our switch phone. All right, please uh, be sure to pay uh, attention to our other videos about web phones so you can check out all the features. And thank you very much for your time.